So a lot of times they give us functions in terms of an equation. Uh, not always. They can give us a table, like in the last um, example. But um, now we're going to talk about some where they give us an equation here. Um, and it says we're going to find input and output values of a function. Well, they have to give you one or the other. So if they give you an input, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video, then it's going to look like f of something. And they're going to give you the input. And then whatever they give you for the input for your equation, you're going to replace your variable um, with that thing. So if you, they give you, you know, a function that's f of x equals x plus 2, then if they want you to find f of, and it could be a number, it could be a variable, it could be an expression. Let's say it's a cherry or an apple, well, whatever you want it to be. And then for that function, then you would replace the x with the apple, and it would look like apple plus 2, okay? So whatever you put in on for x, the, on the left, that's what's going to go in on the right, okay? So my college algebra teacher taught me, you know, if you put a monkey in with a banana in on the left, you put a monkey with a banana in on the right. And he could draw really good monkeys. But, okay, so here's our example. They give us a function. Now they want us to do four different evaluations. In part A, they want us to evaluate it at f of 2. Remember, it's f of 2. So we're saying the input is 2, and they want us to calculate the output. Well, that's going to equal, then, in this case, 2 squared plus 3 times 2 minus 4. I'm looking at the right-hand side, and I'm replacing the x with 2, because that's what they told me to do. Now I have to do order of operations and some calculations, and hopefully that all works. And so f of 2 is equal to 6, and I can just put that for the answer. The input is 2, the output is 6. Okay, so on the next example, they want us to find f of a. Well, then that means I'm going to have a squared plus 3 times a minus 4. And that's it. I can't do anything. I don't have a value for a. Um, I've replaced the x with a. And there's no simplifying to do, so there's no like terms to combine or anything. So that's done, okay? So that one seems kind of weird, and sometimes students are like, well, why do, why do you need an a instead of an x? Well, remember, they're giving us the function in terms of x, and we might want to write it in terms of a. All right, now in part c, they're replacing x with a plus h. So this is going to take me a little bit of room. Scoot it over a little bit. And so I'm going to replace x with a plus h. So a plus h squared plus 3 times a plus h minus 4. Now you're going to have to square a binomial here. Um, that's something I'm hoping that you learned in a past class. If you don't remember how to do it, go a plus h times a plus h, and you can just foil it out. But you're going to get a squared plus 2ah plus h squared. All right, so that's how that uh, multiplies out. You might remember the formula. And then we're going to have to distribute the 3, so plus 3a plus 3h minus 4. Okay, we look to see if there are any like terms to combine. There aren't, so it's done. But yes, I would multiply it out. Now, if you're having questions about the a plus h squared, because you might, let me just show you that real quick. So, let's see if I can back up a little bit. a times a is a squared. Then you get a times h, which is 1ah. But then when you go h times a, you get another ah. And then h times h is h squared. Well, ah plus ah is 2ah. So that's where that's, where that's coming from. Okay? All right, so a little review there. Now, on part D, they want us to take f of a plus h and subtract f of a, and then they want us to divide the whole thing by h. This is actually called the difference quotient, and it's something they're going to start you with in calculus, but right now we're just practicing with the functions. 
The good news is we already know what f of a plus h is because we figured that out, right? So that was in part c. So I have a squared plus 2ah plus h plus 3a plus 3h minus 4. It's a little long. <laughs> then we're going to subtract. Now we have to find f of a, right? So that's that part right there. And we've got f of a. That was in part b. Don't forget to put parentheses here because you've got to subtract the whole thing. Oops. And then that whole thing is just divided by a plain h. It's not f of h. It's just h. Okay. And like I said, we use this later on. So it, it's just practicing now. Okay, so lots of paper for this one. <laughs> Let's remove the parentheses. There's no distributing on the first part. And now we'll have to distribute the minus sign. So it's going to be minus a squared minus 3a plus 4. And then this whole thing is being divided by h. Okay, now some good things should happen. We should get some kind of canceling to happen. So a squared and minus a squared, those cancel out. The 3a and the minus 3a cancel out. The minus 4 and the plus 4, those cancel out. And so now it's a little bit better. Got rid of some stuff. Now we have two, oops, sorry about that. My system has changed a little. 2ah plus h plus 3h all over h. Okay, so that's what we have at that point. It can simplify though because h can divide into all three of those. Now if you want to see that, you can factor out an h in the numerator. So you have 2a plus 1 plus Wait a minute. Something doesn't look right. Oh, I forgot to write h squared. So that's my bad. Sorry about that. That came, you're probably wondering, you're like, what is she doing in that video? It's not going to make too big of a difference here. I'm just going to put the little square in. Um, I forgot to write this square. So, you know, it was really long. Okay. But no excuse. You know, you got to, you got to write it accurately. But I caught the mistake. Now, how did I catch that mistake? Well, remember up here, I said there weren't any like terms to combine. And so I got all the way down here, and I'm like, uh-oh, there's like terms. That can't happen. So no problem. We're going to fix it. We're factoring out the h. Um, we all make mistakes, and these problems sometimes are long. So, Okay, now that should work. I can check it. Uh, 2ah, h squared, 3h. Yep, it's all good. All over h. Now, those h's are going to cancel. And so my final answer is going to be 2a plus h plus 3. And then we would just leave it like that. Okay?